Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Deja. I am working as technical architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present day 29th of June Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today's Q reconstruction by height. It is a medium level question and I also feel the same. In case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to job, placement, internships at Adobe or anywhere else, please feel free to drop a question on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below now let's focus our attention on to q reconstruction by height so here in this question we are given an array wherein each element of the array has two attributes on it the first one is the height of the person and the second one is the number of folks that are greater than or equal to the given height which is seven in this case what do we need to do all of these folks are standing in a queue and we need to generate the original queue in which these persons are standing so i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it why the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it and i'll be explaining both example one and example two there so let's get started lead code 406 q reconstruction by height and let's get started with understanding the first example here the elements are 7044715061152 and as per the question each element of this array has two attributes the first one is the height of that person and the number of folks that are standing in the queue that have a height greater than this person's height which in this case would be seven so the queue arrangement which we need to return as the output is something like this so if you carefully observe then the starting queue element has five at it and zero people have a height greater than five in front of this person so there is nobody standing at before this person and the height of this person is of five units so let me just draw it something like this so the height of this person is five units and nobody has a height greater than five standing in front of it let's proceed ahead the next one is seven comma zero and this person has a height of seven units and no other person has a height greater than this person that is standing in front of it let's proceed ahead next we have is five comma two that means this person has a height of five units and two people are standing in front of it that have height greater than or equal to this person so and this is in turn true so this is the correct position for this person let's proceed ahead next we have six comma one so this person has a height of six units and it has exactly one person that has a height greater than six which is in turn correct this is that person which has a height of seven units the count turns out to be one and this is the correct position for it Let's proceed ahead. Next we have 4 comma 4. So let's create this person and as per this 4 people would be standing in front of it that have a height greater than or equal to 4. Let's check whether it's true or not. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It's in sync with our expectation. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have is 7 comma 1. So let's draw that person who has a height 7 and the value here is 1 unit. That simply means there is only one person that have, that have a height equal to or greater than seven standing in front of it. So which is in sync with our expectation because there is only one person that has a height seven which is equal to the height of this particular person. So this arrangement is absolutely correct. So what do we need to do? We need to generate this arrangement out of the input data set that we have which is this one. How to go about it? Let's walk through the algorithm. From the question itself, you get a hint that it can be solved using the greedy approach. How to go about it? Let's walk through the same example. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to sort this entire array on the basis of decreasing height. That means the person with higher height will be given precedence. And whenever there is a collision between the height of two people, the one that has lower value as number of folks will be given precedence. So in the first go, we will give precedence to the person having higher height and whenever there is a collision between two people, the one where the, this value is lower will be given precedence priority. So let's sort this up and let's generate the sorted array. So how will it look like? So uh, it will look like something like this. 7, 0 will have as a first element because 7 is the maximum height in the entire array and there are two such instances and I, as I already told, the one that have lower number of folks value would be given precedence. So the first element would be 7, 0. The next element would be 7, 1. The next element would be 6, 1. The next element would be 5, 0. 
and again there is a collision between these two the next element is 5 2 followed by 4 4 now let's start the iteration over this sorted array and for building the output array what we are going to do we'll be creating a list out of it so we will be using array list for it and array list internally has an add method to it what does this add method signify it basically adds element onto the desired index that is passed in the arguments for example when you pass an in index and element to it so it will what it is going to do it will be adding this element up at this particular index and let's walk through a very famous example so here they have three elements already present in the list geeks for geeks and when you add zero comma hello to it what it, it's going to do it will be shifting all these three elements to the right of it and hello will be added at the zeroth index so the final state of the array is something like this hello geeks for geeks so hello is at the zeroth index geeks is at the first index for is at the second index and geeks is again at the third index now let's go back to the sorted array so let's start the iteration and let's start building the final output answer result so the first element that we see happens to be 7 comma 0 that means we are gonna insert 7 value at the zeroth index so let me just write zeroth index here and we are we are gonna do we'll be inserting 7 to it let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be 7 comma 1 that means we are gonna make an insertion for 7 value at the first index so we will be inserting 7 at the first index let's proceed ahead next we have is 6 comma 1 what it intends to do it means that 6 should be inserted at the first index so since first index is already occupied what will happen internally it will make the right shift of the remaining element starting from 1 up till the end of the array and it's going to shift it towards the right as a result of which 7 moves towards the second location and 6 gets added at the first location so we have the area something like this 7 6 1 let's proceed ahead next we have is 5 comma 0 that means we are going to make an insertion for 5 at the zeroth index so let's shoot for doing it we will be moving all the three elements towards the right and five will be added at the zeroth index at the start of the array so the in updated indexes are as follows zero one two three let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be five comma two that means we are, have to make an insertion for value five at the second index how can we do that we will be checking at what values exist at six second index six comma seven already exists at second index as a result of which these two will be shifted towards right by one unit so six goes here seven goes here and five would come over here so five come over here the updated array is five seven five six one let's proceed ahead the last entry that we have is 4 comma 4 that means we want to insert 4 at the fourth index so let's check what element does exist at fourth index 7 exists at fourth index and since it is already occupied we are going to shift it by one unit towards right it gets shifted by one unit towards right and 4 gets replaced so the final array is something like this we have element as 5 7 5 6 4 7 which is in sync with our expectation so if you check this up then you will yourself see that this is the desired array that has been generated 5 7 5 6 4 7 5 7 5 6 4 7 and let's walk through another example to get a better hold of the concept which is even simpler than this so we have the second example elements as 6 0 5 0 4 0 3 2 2 2 1 4 and the first and the foremost thing that we are going to do is to sort this entire array up on the basis of height the height where the value is greater will be given precedence we are sorting in the decreasing fashion so 6 goes first followed by 5 4 3 2 and 1 and now let's start the iteration let's start building the output array using this sorted array so the first element that we see is 6 comma 0 so 6 goes at 0th index 
next we have 5 comma 0 so 5 goes at 0th index and 6 shift to first one next we have 4 comma 0 4 goes at 0th index and this gets updated to 1 this gets updated to 2 next we have 3 comma 2 that means we want to make an insertion for this element with value 3 at the second index so let's do that and uh, at second index a value already exists it's gonna shift by one unit towards right six goes here and it gets replaced by three let's proceed ahead next we have two comma two and that simply means we want to insert the height two at the second index so let's do that so at two we already have an element which is three as a result of which we are gonna shift it by one unit towards right so two gets here and this index is again two we are shifting these two indexes towards right so this gets updated to three and this gets updated to four and if you carefully observe then this is insertion of two will not impact the value for three because a lower value is getting inserted first therefore the number of heights that are greater than or equal to three remains the same therefore it's pretty safe to make an insertion for two at the second index this is the crux of the problem so understand it very carefully any height that is lower than the current height is free to be inserted before let's proceed ahead next we have 1 comma 4 that means we want to make an insertion for 1 at the fourth index what value exists at fourth index 6 so we are going to shift it by one unit towards right it gets shifted by one unit towards right and we make an insertion for one so this gets updated to one the output result is something like this four five two three one six and if you carefully observe then the number of people that have a height greater than six which was four is not impacted by the insertion of one because it's a lower value that is the reason we sorted this entire array up in the decreasing fashion because those heights that have a greater value will be considered first so this is again in sync with our expectation the elements are 5 2 3 5 4, uh, 4 5 2 3 1 6 and if you go and check out the question you will yourself see that this is what the question ex expected us to do so let's quickly walk through the coding section and to conclude it up the time complexity of this approach is order of n log n so here as I talked before, I have sorted the people array on the basis of decreasing height first. So remember, this is the decreasing height comparator that I have written and whenever there is a collision, the one that have lower value of number of works greater than or equal to height will be given precedence. Once the sorting is done, I finally build the output result using the add method that I talked about and I'm sharing this link as well in the description below. Once I have added these elements up, I cast it into an integer format and return the result. So let's try this up. Accepted 27% faster. It is because uh, this method is expensive in nature because it every time ha shifts the elements towards right by one unit. There are other approaches to optimize the time complexity but the crux of the problem lies in writing this sort method appropriately. The time complexity of this approach is order of n log n and time complexity, space complexity is order of constant time. We are not using extra except for building the output result. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question.